to Mind Body Relationship, where we discuss the mind, mind the body, body, and the relationship. relationship. Hi, my name is Emerald Hill, and this is Dr. Lori Ponsford Hill, who is the clinical director of the Counseling House. Yes, and today we're going to be talking about the principle of substitutions. Have you ever heard of that? No. Mm. <laughs> well, you know what? It's actually really just that. Substitutions are really important. The truth of the matter is, in this day and age, when it is you go to the store, all of a sudden, things are missing yeah. on the shelves. And we're going to have to become highly creative in regards to substituting what it is that we're looking for with other options. For example, I really love the brands that I love. Oh, I do too. And especially when it is that I start to fall in love with something, if it should happen to be discontinued, I get very, well, disappointed. Yeah. And it takes me a, you know, a fair while to find something else that I really like. Mm -hmm. But now what we've noticed, especially with the things missing off the shelves, is that we have to we have to have a way in which we look at it so that we can, you know, kind of like uh, move quickly, right? Make decisions on the fly and not get caught up in that disappointment. Right. Mm -hmm. Which can be very easy to do. Oh, very easy to do. Especially with how much is missing. You, know? <laughs> you might have to be like, oh, I guess I'm not going to try a different kind of bread loaf. I have to move right over to pita bread because <laughs> all the bread is gone. All the bread is gone. <laughs> all the bread is gone. Exactly. <laughs> For example, eggs. I love eggs. I do too. Yes. And we eat a lot of eggs. We do. Uh-huh. And then to go to the store and find there are no eggs. No eggs. No eggs. Even the cartons with the broken eggs are taken. They're gone. <laughs> it's really amazing. So what is it that we've been doing? We went to the store. Absolutely no eggs on the egg shelf. But looked up and there were actually packages of hard-boiled eggs. That's true. Mm-hmm. So, grabbed up those, yeah. and they actually have containers of egg whites, as well as already mixed eggs with, like, cheese and chives and that yeah. sort of thing. So, we grabbed those up, too. Never had that before. Nope. Never even saw it before. No. And then, well, we started to experiment. We did. Mm-hmm. The good news about it is, is that we were able to scan what we needed, get something. And I think that's really the key. The substitution is something. Not walking away with nothing, mm -hmm. right? Not uh, eliminating something and then not having anything to put in its place. The key is to substitute, yeah. right? Finding something that works for you. It might not be your brand. It might not even be in the realm of what it is that you're looking for, but the key is the creativity, the imagination, right? To keep you focused on the fact that you are substituting and trying to find something in a creative way to fill the void. Yeah, kind of like making it a game, you know? Instead of looking at the fact that the one thing that you really wanted that day is completely missing, and so it's going to ruin your whole day and you're going to go back home with nothing. And it may, might ruin the day of the people you live with. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe look at it more like a game. Well, today, the one thing that I wanted is gone. So how am I going to find the new thing that I really wanted all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> and that's, the, that's really it, right? To fill the void. For example, in regards to, let's just say, um, drinking alcohol, right? As opposed to drinking alcohol um, as much as what it is that you might normally be, to start to substitute it with other options. Yeah. And what are those other options? Well, you can actually learn new drinks and new ways to maybe even wean yourself off slowly. Like if you have a glass of wine every night and you're deciding that you want to not have a glass of wine every night, cut your glass of wine in half by having half a glass of wine and then adding uh, sparkling water to it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Different flavorings even. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. And uh, even to have water with flavorings added to it as well. 
Yes, that's something that I've been doing quite often recently is I'm trying to drink more water, but it's really difficult to do if you've ever attempted to drink boring old water. And so if you add flavoring to it, all of a sudden I couldn't drink like three cups in an hour, but with the additive of flavor, I can drink three cups in an hour easy. Excellent. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, another example of a substitution would be how it is that you dress, right? For example, if let's just say your norm is to wear high heels, but the truth is, is that for whatever reason you've hurt yourself, whatever that might be, you cannot wear your high heels anymore to substitute with something uh, as fun that you can wear right that changes your focus yeah mm -hmm. you know, I love there's all kinds of things that you can substitute for heels like running shoes with bling on it oh, there yeah. are fun laces now with bling on it or like they're kind of wavy and weird and you know what I mean <laughs> or even if you decide you know what I'm gonna change the focus and I'm gonna wear some really blingy sunglasses oh yes cool sunglasses as well as uh, cool jewelry or just like what I'm doing, right? I'm, I'm wearing my scarf. Yeah. Right? So just changing the focus, which I think is really important. Yeah. Right? To substitute. I also think that it's important to um, keep focused on the fact that life is important. And as much as it is that right now uh, there seems to be a shutdown happening, uh, and it might feel like there, as the shutdown happens, that there is an increasing feeling of hopelessness happening. It is really good to keep yourself focused on what it is that you're going to be substituting in your daily life to fill that uh, void, yeah. right? So what you might normally have been doing is uh, going to work, having a routine, uh, that sort of thing, but now you're in essence in lockdown in your home or whatever that might be for you and so it's really important to keep focused with substituting things whatever it is that you're about is important yeah. and whatever it is that you've taken on is important and it's also important to keep that focus going and just because life has changed uh, doesn't mean that you cannot substitute uh, different things in order to keep yourself feeling positive, energized, like life is important. Yeah. Yeah. And the amazing thing that, you know, the media and, you know, the internet provides now is that you can go online and find a whole host of things. You know, there are online educational institutes, online uh, ways to learn new skills, online, you know, you can even find the thing that you wanted to do and you forgot about like a year ago you wanted to write a book and now's your chance oh that's true or even just read one yeah <laughs> oh. yeah so i think that that's really key right uh keeping your agenda going but cr trying to find things that you can focus on within your a small area your small family right and to keep yourself energized in that way um, just because life has changed and the focus has changed doesn't mean that life is now about nothing or the focus is about nothing right it's important to keep focused on what's important to you and not to get lost in addictive obsessions and um, not be able to uh, achieve the goal still that you really want to achieve. That's a really good point because um, what's happening right now in a lot of healthcare communities online is that they're saying, just so you know, just to keep everyone accountable, just because you're hoarded up inside and you can't go to the gym or, you know, maybe some days when you go to the store and there aren't the vegetables that you normally cook with for your healthy diet, this isn't an excuse to fall back into unhealthy eating. Exactly, yes. Substitutions from one product to another. So if you're filling your evening with something because you feel like you need to eat, that's perfectly fine. 
right? As long as it is that you're able to substitute the high calorie, high carbohydrate food for low calorie, low carbohydrate food, right? If you're hungry, fantastic, eat. Just find the substitution that's going to facilitate that for you so that you keep on the healthy path. Right. You know what I love more than anything in the world? Mm, what's that? Chicken Caesar salad. <laughs> and okay. if I want to feel crazy, I add some dried cranberries to that sucker. <laughs> and it's better than like fried food all the way for me because it's just so tasty. And you can get really low calorie dressing and really low carb dressing on top of that. So it's like, you know, my favorite thing that's healthy and I can manage, you know, and there's a lot of substitutions that you can do with that. No, oh, so true. Exactly. Exactly. And filling your time actually by making things. Yeah. Right. As opposed to the quick and easy and everybody's always saying, you know, oh, I get home from work and I'm so tired and I don't want to cook. Well, you're at home now. <laughs> so, really good, right? Because the truth of the matter is, you have the opportunity now to do all the things that you said, gosh, if I only didn't have to work, look at all the things that I could do. Well, yeah. now you have the opportunity to do it. No excuses, right? Yeah, no. Substitute in all of those things, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. So, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> Here's the starting line. Here's the starting line, exactly. I think also it's really important to reach out to um, supportive people, right? And to keep up your relationships, uh, not to completely and totally isolate yourself. Um, I know for us, in regards to therapy and counseling, we've been substituting in-person counseling with online counseling, phone counseling, uh, FaceTime, I mean, all of those options. So I do think that it's really important if you uh, feel the need that you'd like to talk to somebody, you'd like to figure something out or whatever it is that that might be for you, to still reach out. We're still here and available, which is really, really important. We're just substituting the face-to-face -face for using uh, different media opportunities. That's an excellent point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. I'm happy that we had this conversation. Substitution is important, especially in times like these where there is so many limited options as to what you can do and what you loved to do. Exactly. And if you have been working with the principle of substitutions, getting used to them, then my suggestion would be, how about to contact us and let us know what is it that you're picking up in regards to your own substitutions? Yeah, feel free to drop a comment, uh, give this video a like and subscribe, of course. <laughs> exactly. And we're looking forward to hearing what you're substituting now and for the next couple of weeks months months yes yeah <laughs>